So this is this is this Saturn is you know the the Lord of Order, structure, discipline. And so it's this time when Saturn will come back around between 20 and 30, where it was when we were born. Usually to about 29 and a half. It'll hit usually about three times exactly at that time. And this is this is the major, one of the major rites of passage in our life. And it comes back again when we're 58, 59, 60, for that second Saturn return. And But what is this first one about? Well, it's, it's about making key decisions about what we're willing to commit to in our life. You know, where do we want to apply hard work, perseverance, stamina? What are we going to discipline at? Now, this is true for any Saturn cycle. And every seven years, Saturn will square or be in a hard angle to where it was when you were born. So that seventh year, that 14th year, that 21st year, and that, that you know, all the way up 28 to 30, 35, 42. Often these Saturn cycles will overlap or be very close to another cycle. So it's, it's kind of interesting when you start to see the full picture. You know, when we're 14, 15, we often talk about that rebellious time and, you know, it's labeled all these different ways. But really what it is, is a Saturn opposite Saturn that's going on in our life. We as teenagers are trying to structure our consciousness, Saturn, in a way that is opposite to the Saturnian structures in the world. Our parents, our teachers, the authorities, the governments, the laws. That's Saturn opposing Saturn. Right? So when we start to understand the, the planetary cycle, we don't have to label anymore, you know, falsely, like, oh, this is just some, like, rebellious teenage thing. In fact, it's, it's, it's a time when we need a serious rite of passage at that age where we are becoming mature through our own decision-making process, right, and often through a kind of hardship. It's why an ideal time for a vision quest for children, you know, who are on that, that they're coming into that adulthood where they need to become responsible you know, responsible members of society on some level. And Saturn says, I'm going to test you. I'm going to give you an obstacle. I'm going to give you a challenge. And it's it's going to be hard. And if you persevere through that, you will grow and you will develop depth and a kind of um, inner wisdom, right? Saturn ultimately taps into the archetype of the wise elder. You know? But you have to go through the hardship in order to get there, right? Like the, the grandfather we all respect. So... The goal, again, in understanding, starting to understand these cycles, is to see how um, we can we can choose to relabel what's happening as more of an archetypal initiation and not as just some kind of behavioral thing that happens. But throughout our life, we're being initiated by these cycles, and there are better or worse or more positive ways of integrating. That's what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about now. Is Look at the Saturn return. Let's let's give a few examples. Um, you know, in Cosmos and Psyche, actually, Rick Tarnas talks about a couple examples of. He uses a great phrase, which is biographical crystallization. So this is what can happen during a Saturn return. Um, the example of Beethoven composing this and producing, you know, performing his first symphony. Well, this is what Beethoven was really known for: symphonies. You know, this is what we think of when we think of Beethoven. Jack Kerouac wrote on the road during his Saturn return. This is, if you go one book by Kerouac, most people are going to say on the road. Biographical crystallization, right? Oprah Winfrey started the Oprah Winfrey show during her Saturn return. You know, these things that like, oh, this is what this person is, you know, is known for at some level. Um, there's, there's a few other examples I'll just name. Steven Spielberg, within, within one year, created Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind during his Saturn return. And those are movies that epitomize what Steven Spielberg is about. He's about like pushing the taboos, the intensity, you know, all, all of, mo a lot of his films since then have been about aliens or like very edgy subjects, you know, like Close Encounters is. Um, so there is a kind of, okay, this is what this person is about in the world. Karl Marx and uh, Engels wrote the Communist Manifesto during their Saturn return. This is, you know, the this is a world-altering event, you know, a society-altering event. 
Um, but we also know that um, person, like a lot of personal crisis, can can ensue during the Saturn cycle because the pressure at that time to commit to something, to go on a path of mastery, to to make tough decisions can happen. So um, in my research, I found that um, this was you know when Eckhart Tolle had his kind of massive depression, almost like near-death suicide type moment. He was in his hole, you know, his deep hole when he was at that Saturn return time. And that's also when he broke through. It was like the breakdown to the breakthrough moment. And he had a kind of um, a, a, an epiphany, a kind of inner transformation that happened during that time by going to those melancholic depths that Saturn represents. Um, and um, he says, I'll give you this little quote. Um, who is the I that cannot live with the self? What is the self? I felt drawn into a void. Very Saturnian. I didn't know at the time what really happened was the mind made self with its heaviness, Saturn, its problems that lives that lives between the unsatisfying past and the fearful future. Um, so, uh, so this this sense of like needing to evaluate our past what we've done, what we've accomplished, and what we choose to accomplish, and what we want to step towards, like we are building that pyramid, that's the Saturn initiation. 